So today we're going to look at how to add a base map into ArcMap. Base maps are very useful. They provide imagery or maps or just pretty much make your ArcMap data frame not be this white blank screen that we always see when we start up ArcMap. So basically the way you would add a base map is that you're going to go to the Add Data button, which is this little plus with a over a layer symbol. And on next to it, there's this little drop-down arrow. Whenever you click on there, you can say Add Base Map. That's going to prompt you with all the different base maps that ESRI provides. Here you can see the different styles, imagery, imagery with labels, topographic, terrain, National Geographic, oceans, OpenStreetMap. Um, these Bing Map Aerial and Bing Maps Hybrid and Bing's Map Road soon are going to require a product key in order to use them. They're not going to be freely available anymore. But um, imagery, I've had a lot of success with uh, ESR imagery. Um, OpenStreetMap is a very uh, nice, uh, nice detailed mapping uh, service. Um, so usually with these two, you can get, or even with streets, these pretty much these three here replace the Bing. So. Also, um, another way, alternative way you can get to ba base map is that if you go to the file, add data, add base map, let's go ahead and add one. So I'm going to say imagery and click add. And as you can see, once it's in there, you have uh, the imagery base map on your on here instead of just this blank white. One thing to keep in mind, though, is the projection that's being used. If you go here to right click on the layer uh, on the data frame called layers and you go to the data frame properties and you look under the uh, coordinate systems, you can see that we're using right now a WGS84 web Mercator. A lot of people uh, would say a Mercator projection is probably the worst projection you can use. You can see here Antarctica is really big, Greenland is distorted, the equa equator zones are compressed. Um, for a global projection, you might want to look into something like Robinson. This one's a pretty good one, so let's check it out. And then that's going to give us a better looking uh, Earth using the Robinson projection. But whenever you're working in a particular area, you should always try to choose a projection that's based off that area. So for example, if you're working in a very local region in, let's say, Georgetown, Texas, you're going to want to use a, maybe a state plane system or at very least a statewide mapping uh, projection system which you can find all the projections in there and we'll cover that in a different video. So that's basically how you add a base map into ArcMap and how you play with, uh, with the projection by going into data frame properties. See you next time.